Mr. Fox immigrated here from Germany during World War II. He was the one who bought this tract of land here. And him and two of his friends actually did the rock wall facade and closed in the cave. It took two years to do that. And they opened the store here in 1957 when they originally opened the store. And this was just like a little roadside stop. You know, this was actually the old highway back here that runs parallel with the building. This was the old Roswell Highway up until 1964. And there was a massive flood here in this area. And it just wiped everything out, wiped it all out. So that's when they built the highway in its current location, expanded it out, made it four lanes. And this just continued on as Fox Caves. And so, yeah, because they said he had a whole bunch of funky stuff up in here, you know, like... Yes, no. I'm all about aliens. Now, that's another thing. The original, the original owner, if you see, if you look up inside on this other side of this wall, there's some, like, little cable. You can see those cables. You can see those little pulleys up there. He had a cable that went all the way across this cave. It stretched all the way across. And he had a little monkey that would ride a bike back and forth across the <laughs> Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Then we had a, then he had a den of live rattlesnakes that used to be in that back area as well. Yep. And then, but prior to that, back in the 1880s, when it was still considered ice cave, Billy the Kid hid out in here in 1880. He would actually hide back in there. He had a little rope ladder he could drop down over the side of the cliff. And he'd shimmy up that cliff, you know, and then that way we could see. Cause of course, this rock wall wasn't here, so he'd be able to see out the canyon if anybody yeah, was coming. Yeah, we've been on the hunt of Billy the Kid. Yes, of course, Sumner, absolutely. And it's like right by his grave, our our EMF was just going crazy. Yeah. And we'll walk away. I said, nah, man, you know, but you know, they should they should have told me. Yeah. And the next thing you know, it, it kept going and I was like, wow, and the chills. I mean oh, like yeah, there's okay. so much history in New Mexico Extreme. that yeah. it is crazy because we moved out here because we're on the like, military base we have a lots of shop and all the other yeah, stuff that's going on. <laughs> and, you know, it's the history that people don't come to see and that's what i want people to see about here about the rock cave oh, the ice yes, cave. Man, yes, man, so absolutely. they want to come here because i'm telling you right now i haven't seen this many damn crystals <laughs> <laughs> and i'm tripping well, like right owner, now his energy. name is mr arnold duke and he is the president of the international gem and mineral society as well that's why he goes all over the world, trade shows, and he's got connections everywhere. So all of our stones come from all over the world. All of our amethyst and our sutri are going to come out of his own mine. Him and his brother have an amethyst mine in Brazil. So yeah, that's where all of our all of our amethyst comes out of his own mine. All of our sutri comes out of there as well. This man, this man. Yeah, right now, y'all got some stuff going on here. Yeah. And I'm going to thank you for giving me that little bit of history, but Absolutely. right now, I got to go with my spirit. We've had, we've had some paranormal events happen out here as well. We used to have, uh, I don't know. Will they let us investigate here? That's the whole point. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure he would be on, I'm sure he would be. Because, I mean, we're not like, you know, we're like already in our fifth season right now. We're on Amazon Prime, we're on, like, pretty much everything that's going on. And I think our fan base right now is over, like, 200K. Wow. And that's wow. just building. What's, because, what's the name of it? Um, Gorilla Mafia Entertainment. But we're Stone Paranormal and then Stone Historical Sites. Okay, okay. And so we did both of those things that's going right here. And I'm just trying to always get a piece of something. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm a psychic like, medium. Been this way since I'm older yeah. than most people think. I understand. Think I'm an empath. I understand. Yes. Yep. And I'm gonna <laughs> tell you something: is that certain parts of this place is vibrating, mm -hmm. but what I'm feeling is underneath my feet. That's where the chamber. That's where the that's, and that's where the like where they called it the basement. Is what they used to call it back in the '70s. And like I said, they had several concerts down there. But there was something the more bar. going on there. I'm sure. Before this, well, yeah. this is also the Apaches would use this as a way to, to escape. Like if they were being chased yeah. by soldiers or whatever, there's another tunnel that goes from that chamber underneath and it opens up into another cave about 10 miles down the road called Fort Stanton Cave, or Snowy River Cave. You just did and that's, how they, yep, that's how they would escape. Nobody knew where they were going. They would just tunnel into that tunnel and be gone. Just because it's like you know? I feel a family <laughs> It's like I just feel like families, like there was a time when people were hiding. Right, during the Great Ooh. during the Great Depression, this was tarped off in the sections, and there were several families that were living in, it, in this. Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, because yes. I'm telling you, because I'm feeling that. And let me tell you, that was hard times back then, because mm. the main thing that I keep hearing is about is either you're going to have water or you're not going to have water. That's, that's been what an it issue. is, and yeah. disease. Yes, that's yes. A, that's 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 a
I have a feeling there's a cord to it or something that's up in here. Oh, yeah. Because it's holding not just a lot of energy, but this was a sacred spot before yes. it became this. Yes, absolutely. And you know, yes. that's what I'm seeing. I mean, I'm actually seeing, you know what, before the Indians, mm -hmm. before there, there was something of a migrational pattern, that this was a ley line for some spiritual activity that was going on. I feel it too. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Yeah, see, Absolutely. Man, cool heck people. yeah. So heck yeah. Right <laughs> Thank you for your thing. And I'm yes, ma'am. Trust me. I'm a If I can remember friend. anything else, I'll try and try I'm and tell Clint. you too. I'm Clint. Clint. Yes, ma'am. My husband, Christopher. Heck yeah. Good to meet you, Chris. Heck, heck yeah. Awesome. Awesome, guys. <laughs> heck yeah. Right on. Like, wow, in history that we just give it to 